favoring policy for the mixed couple mixed couples. For example, this, this statement from the, the regulation document of Lingxia, and uh, they have uh, they ex explicitly said that families can have more one more birth if one or both sides of the couple are from minority groups. So we also have this have this graph. Then in this this province in Da have some have some uh, mixed couple favoring policies. That means if in these regions, if the mixed couples can have more than one child, they can usually they have two, and in Tibet they, they can have three or four. Okay, so in fact we have we have a formal model of of our result, but I want to introduce here because it's a little complicated. I even I even me I don't. So but let's talk. I, I will give you a simplified version. First, this, this is a question. What do you want to the policy and the body soda tax in common? <laughs> I, in fact, the, for me, I think they are the same because they are, both of them are some kind of consumption tax. Mm -hmm. If we understand marriage as a bundle of goods, then and the, 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 quant the, ch the children quantity is, is among these goods. So that we can we can take the one-child policy, the fine the fine rate, the fine on violating one-child policy as a tax on the based on the children quantity consumed. So it's, it's a tax, just like a soda tax, right? So this is a graph. So, so this this is a metric. This is the basic the, the framework of our, our, our model. That means for everyone in the society, the, she or he or she has three choices: keep single and marry a hand partner. Or marry a minority partner. I think, yeah, I think, I think, oh, there is a mistake. This this one should be here. And this one should be here. So you can for a hand people, you can choose to marry a hand people. Then it's a hand couple. If you marry to a, a married people, it's a mixed couple. So we have a graph like this. So the one child policy, in fact, it imposes a tax on this group of people. Then it will reduce the marriage gains to this this, this kind of couples. Then we will expect people will move to other choice. Mm -hmm. This is a good idea. And for for regions without without mixed couple policies, then that means we have tax on this 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 kind of both 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 a hand couple and mixed couples. Then people will move to other choice. So basically, from this 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 one, we, we can detect that okay, one child policy will have. Have a have an impact a positive impact on at marriage rate for the ratio of keeping single and it has 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 some effects on have some positive effects on the intermarriage and from this one we consider that in the in regions without favoring policy there is no effects on the intermarriage but stronger effects on at marriage rate. This is the basic framework. Okay, this is a complicated version. Uh, the data we used in the census data of China and also the 2005 population survey, and um, and we we have the information about some of the information of the demographic variables, gender, year of birth, education, ethnicity. We control all these demographic variables. We also control the uh, the uh, the dummy variables on prefecture level. We also control the year dummies, and we match the fine rate according to the the people's current location. For the unmarried people, we use the fine rate, the, the weighted average fine rate from the from the 20 to 25. For the married one, we use the, the fine rate, the, the weighted average fine rate in, in the two years prior to their marriages. And this is our result. Consistent with our, with, with our model prediction, we find a stronger effect on unmarried rate for hand people, right, and, uh, and especially stronger in, re in regions without favor favoring policy, because they, because that means they, they can't move to the they move to the mixed couples to avoid the uh, avoid the uh, the, the, the one's fortunate policy, and the, the effects on minority people will be weaker, and especially we don't find find, find the effect on the with a favor policy because in this in these regions the one-child policy will increase their value on the market. 
because in this region, if, if for a happy people, you marry a minority people, you can have one more child. That means that the, the minority people have some, some, some rights, and they can sell the rights to the marriage market, then they will be more valuable. So. And this is the intermarriage rate over a year. And uh, we can find that the, the, sh the intermarriage rate increased significantly after, after, after the long-term policy. And this, especially in the regions with mixed couple of favoring policies. And uh, based on our, according to our estimation, long-term policy can explain about 25% increase in, in the aspect of marriage. And this is our, our estimation on marriage. And we find, OK, the, the effect will be stronger in, in regions with, with favoring policy. And some people argue that, OK, the long-term policy also has some effect on the marriage age then it, it, it may make your estimation biased. So we not only use the fund rate before the marriage, we also use the fund rate uh, in the three years after legal marriage age for the bus check, but the, but the result is consistent. Mm -hmm. Then we also try to argue that whether this, 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 this marriage, whether people really have, really have more children through uh, through intermarriage, and uh, because this is this is rational of the hand, and we use we consider the interaction. That means um, in regions with a with a high rate, the more likely the intermarriage is a, is induced by the policy. So the this this marriage this, these couples are more likely to have more children. So we use this interaction consistent consistent with our prediction. We find that only the effects exist. That means these policy induced couples actually have more children, and the effects is only exist in, in regions with with favoring policy. Okay, so then we, we, this is the second part of our model, and, and if we go back to this graph, if we increase increase the fine rate, then we will push people to here. We will increase, we will decrease the share of this. this the, the ratio of this, this, this group and increase the ratio of this group. Then we can estimate the marginal impact. And we also can estimate the elasticity of marriage outcomes. With, with this estimation, we can get the elasticity for different groups, between the diff different groups. So I know finally we get the, the, the marginal impact of one child policy on marriage gains. And according to our, our, our estimation, increase the, increase the fine rate by one year income, the, the marginal impact will be, for hand people, for hand male, it will be 0.27 standard deviation. For uh, hand female, it will be 0.51 standard deviation. And that, Maybe it's because the wives have, uh, cares more about the number of children. And the, uh, basically some, basically based on our model specification, specification and other assumptions, the standard deviation of marriage, the, the standard deviation of marriage utility is 1.28. And the mean value of fine rate increased from 0 to 2.2. So for the, for the hand female, the impact will be 1.1 standard deviation compared with the 1.28 1 it, it uh, compared with the standard deviation, it's a sizable loss of marriage gains. So that is how we estimate the marriage gains. So it's a very sizable, especially for the wife. So okay, so this is a review of our conclusions. First, also, once your policy increased a marriage rate and the interethnic marriage rate. Second, the policy induced interethnic marriages have more children ex post. And third, we find that one child policy reduced the marriage gains remark remarkably, especially for Han people and for the women. So that is all. Yeah. Thank you. Between 2000 and 2005, 
uh, they're dealing with a marriage market where the sex ratios are skewed because of the um, policy. Yes. So I wondered if you could talk about how the skewed sex ratios might feed into this. Oh, yes, that's true. But contribute to your result. Yeah, yeah, because the sexual ratio, yeah, because we control the, the perfection level of dummy, so the sexual ratio is different across across the regions. And we also control the year dummy. So, in fact, we control, control the year of the marriage. So, in fact, I control the cohort dummy. So, we can ex or somehow we can ex ex exclude the, the effects from sex ratio. Not, not completely, but somehow we can exclude that. And, and actually, we know that some, some people also use the, the fine rate to the JPE paper to estimate the, the effects of sex ratio. But we try to tell another story about the, the gains to the marriage. Yeah. Uh, well, we talked when you were in the course about the political motivation of the government for, uh, for adopting this policy, which is interesting. We, we understand that maybe the government would not impose a one-child policy on minorities for yeah. particular political reasons, which maybe you could yeah. explain. But then the policy of extending these benefits to Han who marry minorities yeah. is very interesting. Could you just say what the government had in mind in doing that? I think because they try to promote, I think it's, yeah, they, I think they intended to promote the communications between different ethnic groups, and uh, they believe that that, that can have, help the social assimilation between these two groups. I think it's, it's quite useful. For, for example, the marriage between my mother and my father links, 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 links many people in different groups, and they build up relationship. I think it's good for the relationship across between ethnic groups in China. But so also to absorb the minority population into the Han majority, yes. would it this be a kind of undercurrent of the whole purpose? Not just to improve relations, but to... Yes, that's true. When you talk about they also provide some, some rights and um, benefits to, if you identify yourself as a minority, not Han mm -hmm. people. For example, if I identify myself as a minority people, then I can get some bonus in the, in the uh, college interest exam in China and actually it's helped me to get a, a help me go to Peking University, actually it's helped me much. So the the government also pro provides some some benefits to minority people. So is minority self assigned? Your minority status is self assigned? Yeah, uh, yeah. My, my, my minority status is still a minority, yeah. My my standard is still a minority. Yeah, for I can choose my mother's identity or my father's identity. But so when you're in the marriage market? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you hot stuff on the marriage market? <laughs> <laughs> no, did you not? Uh, let's, 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 uh, let's stop it uh, here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think people should give uh, so he, some comments on how he can work on the intro. I think he's taking, he's taking a lot of minutes to get. What should he start with? How can he get rid of a little bit so that he can get into the heart of things if you have suggestions for him? Thank everybody for great talks. Thank you.